This is jet fuel. And this is gasoline. Everyone seems to think that jet fuel is some sort of crazy liquid rocket fuel. That is a very common misconception. Through a few small experiments, I wanna give everyone a more insightful understanding as to why we see a massive fireball following a high impact scenario with a large aircraft, even though jet fuel is technically safer than gasoline. Let's start off by looking at the two fuels side by side. Gasoline is a flammable liquid with eight atoms of carbon and 18 atoms of hydrogen per molecule. Jet fuel, on the other hand, is a combustible liquid with much longer carbon chains with an average of 12 carbon atoms and 23 hydrogen atoms per molecule. Let's get on with the experiments. This is jet A, this is gasoline. And the first experiment that I'm gonna do, super simple. We're gonna put some jet fuel right on the table. Then we're gonna put some gasoline right on the table next to it. And check this out. The jet fuel, even if the flame is right on it, it does not ignite. The gasoline, however, there's already a vapor cloud forming above the puddle of gas and watch it real closely. We didn't even touch the puddle of gasoline with the flame and it lit it on fire because the flash point is so much lower than jet fuel. The flash point of gasoline is about 40 below zero. The flash point of jet fuel is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that shows you right there very simply the difference between a flammable and a combustible. That's one of the reasons airliners use Jet A. Not only is the energy density a little bit higher, but it's much safer to handle because it's a combustible. That brings us to the question is why do we see those big fireballs? What happens with jet fuel is, as you can see, it's combustible, not flammable, but a combustible will ignite if it's vaporized or heated. So if any of those two conditions are met, it's gonna burn. If we get like a paper towel like this, put some jet fuel on it. I'm not gonna show you gasoline because we already know gasoline is gonna burn even without the towel. But in this case, what happens here is when we light this, that localized area in the paper towel becomes hot above the flash point of the jet fuel and then it starts feeding in there, sort of like a candle with wax. Here, check it out. And now we're getting a lot of energy from that jet fuel. See all that black smoke? That's all hydrocarbons. And that is starting to resemble the fireball that we're looking for. So for the next experiment, I'm gonna replicate that fuel tank coming down at high velocity and being ruptured and film it with the high-speed camera so we could see if the jet fuel is gonna vaporize and get ignited by the ignition source. We're gonna fill this little fuel tank with jet fuel. To give this the velocity we need to make this rupture like an actual fuel tank, I got the perfect thing in mind. This kind of reminds me of a musket. I think this is gonna work. Dang! It actually worked! And now we're gonna try gasoline. Wow, that looks so much more clear than the jet fuel. All right, this is gonna be the same test, but this time with gasoline. As we can see, gasoline is much more volatile than jet fuel. Since jet fuel is composed of longer, heavier hydrocarbon chains than gasoline, jet fuel is less volatile, has a higher boiling point, burns slower, and possesses a higher energy density. While gasoline is more volatile, ignites easy, and burns more quickly. Even though jet fuel is hard to light in its liquid form, once it's atomized, it will burn. And the next experiment, we're gonna see visually why. This time I'm gonna vaporize the jet fuel using a sprayer and check this out.
Hopefully through the set of simple experiments I showed you, you have a better understanding for the difference between jet fuel and gasoline. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. During these experiments, I couldn't help but think maybe there is a better fuel tank design possible in the future to prevent fuel atomization altogether.